Hi, um, this is Wadi, and um, I just wanted to share something with you that I have uh, something that I have been thinking or um, pondering upon and uh, reflecting on for the last uh, few days, and um, just wanted to share it with you. And as a matter of disclaimer. I just so wanted to say um, what I will be sharing could be controversial to some and it may generate uh, a spectra of uh, feelings, reaction and response to, to what I'm about to say. and. I would say it is normal uh, because uh, there were some things that I actually do not anticipate to, to find it the way it was or it is until I ran into it and it did generate a lot of uh, mixed feeling, mixed uh, reaction, but uh, sometimes we gotta call uh, something what it is for what it is. Uh, I'm talking about the the vision of New Sudan. What is it that is the vision of New Sudan, and how the SPLA ran up upon that, and many of us out there subscribe to those ideals. Um, some of us fought for that idea. Some of us died and paid an ultimate sacrifice for that idea that one day uh, when those ideas come to pass and become a reality we will be able to enjoy uh, freedom, liberty or liberty and prosperity and uh, it, it seems like those uh, ideals and aspiration has vanished and when you look at the current crisis in South Sudan, it has been in part blamed uh, on a loss of vision. And this loss of vision is that um, the current ruling party, SPLM, has lost a vision. And because of that, many whom were also part of the SPLM, and they become what we call, or I call, the hyphenated SPLM. Uh, by that I mean uh, SPLM IO, SPLM FDs, SPLM CD, SPLM whatever it is. So all this form of hyphenated SPLM are a branch out of this main SPLM uh, that uh, was uh, under the commander uh, in chief, uh, Dr. John Garang Dimabior. And in 1983, when Dr. Dimobior uh, rebelled or started a movement uh, and they gave it a name, SPLM, SPLA, SPLM, was built on this idea of Sudanism. And that was the platform. And this Sudanism is what is being referred to in many times as New Sudan, the vision of New Sudan. And this vision of New Sudan is that nothing can unite us as a country and we cannot build a nation on any of what other people or other previous uh, government and administration have tried. Uh, for example, you see the uh, right after independence the North uh, Arab North uh, thought that they can build a country based on the racial identity, which is Arabism, that they can build a country based on Arabism. It did not work. Uh, they were so adamant about this idea and they were so much for it that when, Sa when Sudan got its independence in 1956, it took only two weeks that Sudan joined the Arab League. 
which was a proof that they wanted to build a country based on the Arab identity, and that led to subsequent war until 1972 with the Addis Ababa Agreement, and then where South Sudan was given this local autonomy. And within that short period of time, they decided that since Arab, Arabization of, South, of Sudan and implementation of this Arabism did not work, they thought maybe the country is 80% to 90% Muslims, therefore they can create a country based on Islam. And that also we have seen in 1983 when the Sharia law was declared and Sudan was declared as an Islamic country. That did not take long in 2005 and eventually 2011. That's when we saw the country split apart. So that is our history proving that you cannot build a country based on the racial identity. You cannot build a country based on the... Um, religious identity, you cannot build, build a country based on the um, ethnic identity and that is what I'm coming to next. That um, So when 2005 happened with the signing of the CPA, Garang came home and Garang came with this idea of New Sudan. And to our surprise that people who were actually around Garang when Garang set out on a mission to revolutionize uh, the entire country, most of the people who were actually around him and some of them that are around today actually do not believe or do not subscribe to this idea of New Sudan. And it appears that they actually tolerated those ideas only because of the presence of Garang. It was the presence of Garang that, you know, they tolerated this idea. But they themselves have no uh, what they stand on. And for some other reason that we, we may discuss that in a different setting, that they have joined SPLA and stuck with the SPLM, they have a different reason. But it was not the idea of New Sudan. And this idea uh, of New Sudan, it is also ironic to find out that some of the, our brothers from the North actually understood it and may believe in it much more than uh, a lot of uh, Southern, uh, South Sudanese uh, at that time. And when Garang signed the CPA and it took only 23 days, the idea of New Sudan crashed with the death of Garang in that tragic uh, plane crash. That was the death of the New Sudan the new vision or the vision of a new Sudan it died with Garang on that very day and what is left was people who actually do not believe in those ideals do not believe in those ideas and they may have their own idea that they will, or they may have their own reason why they were there first to begin with but it wasn't this idea of new Sudan it wasn't this vision of New Sudan that Garang has carried uh, for the last two, for that 20 plus years. And many of us have fought and some of us has paid or uh, have paid an ultimate sacrifice to defend and to protect and to make sure that this vision are realized. And with the death of Garang, of course, those new leadership of the SPLM came in with the death of vision and the death of the commander-in-chief, a big vacuum was created. The vacuum of leadership and the vacuum of ideas. The vacuum of uh, vision was created. A new political dynamic has instated itself in, 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 uh, in, a, in a new 
uh, country or in a new uh, political arena. Now, with Salfakir assuming the leadership, and still we have this vacuum of idea and vision. So now when SPLA in 2011 trans uh, transform has been transformed into a ruling a ruling um, party, it has no idea, it has no vision that it runs on. It has no uh, vision. It has no idea what to build a country like on. What are the things that needed to be? What are that foundation? You know, something like what Garang was talking about, the Sudanism. Because this idea of New Sudan, it actually was created on the, within, for the context of this whole country as Sudan. It was built and designed for the Sudan. And now, with the country divided into two, that environment is no longer there. Therefore, it makes the idea of New Sudan obsolete. And in one of Garang's, uh, Dr. Garang's uh, address, he mentioned something that I think is profound. He said that if this vision of New Sudan failed, the country will split apart. Of course, there was a rush to a judgment that, oh, since Garang died, therefore, um, or oh, since uh, the country split apart, therefore, uh, the vision was dead. Uh, the vision failed, but we know scientifically when things fail is something that we tested and this vision of New Sudan was not tested to begin with. Now, going back to this vacuum of, li of vision and a vacuum of ideas, uh, there were certain group of people that were out there running parallel to Garang, or at least most of them were running parallel to Garang. Uh, during that past 20 uh, plus years, they had never seen to eye to eye with Garang because of the difference and uh, difference in ideology, difference in uh, a vision of what the country could be like. Those people rushed in and filled that empty vacuum. And the people, this, this group that I'm talking about, those are the Gian Council of Elders. There were the people that who were, have the idea already in their hands and they presented it and Kir took over that. Which is what I talked earlier about that building a country based on the racial or the ethnic identity. So now from 2011, the country was ethnically oriented. The country was taken into the direction of ethnic or one ethnic group and it took less than four years that we descended into this vicious civil war that has been going on for a few years so at least five years for now so this is the proof that there are certain things that we cannot build a country on as a platform the country can only be built on an idea you can unite people only based on an idea. But what is this idea that defines us as South Sudanese? I think it is something that uh, it, it invites thinking and honest conversation. With regard to Jain Council, I think it reminds me of what happened in Egypt right after the Arab Spring when Mubarak was toppled and then um, uh, the country was fast to be reformed into a democratic uh, institution and election was ran. And at that time, there were no political organization established. The only well-established organization or a political organization that was there was the Muslims brothers 
and that's what projected Omri Musa into the power. And we know what happened. Within a very short period of time, the country was at the verge of collapse until the military intervened in to rescue it. I'm not in any way suggesting that the military has to intervene in what is going on in South Sudan because we have no military actually to begin with. We have uh, uh, tribal generals that are running the countries, are running the country right now. So that there is no um, analogy here, uh, or I'm not suggesting any analogy here because the situation here and the political dynamic actually is totally different. And the, uh, the elements that are present in South Sudan and the causes that is going on and the makeup of what is, is not analogous to what we talk about in Egypt. So those are different situations we cannot uh, suggest in that context. So now back again to what idea that we have to start a conversation. What is it that unites us as the South Sudanese? And what is that idea that we call South Sudan? Until we find that idea, until we find, define that what makes us South Sudanese, this cycle will continue until somebody breaks it somewhere some people are thinking maybe we we talk about a new sudan this idea of new sudan is obsolete the environment and the situation within with that idea could form is it's no longer there and that's the reason why you see when uh the, the administration in South Sudan when they come up and they say oh yeah we are implementing the vision of SPLM and all this thing it creates a problem rather than solving a problem it creates a problem because it was not designed for that certain situation so scientifically we have all the data and it requires the minds and the brains of South Sudan, especially the youth, to sit down and comb through those data and come up with a scientific resolution to what is going on based on the scientific data, based on a scientific study to prove and chart a new way built on an idea that defines whom we are as a South Sudanese. Until then, Bye for now.